Okay, to keep the cooler cold, I use a combination of a um, bag of ice, or if I don't want anything soggy wet or something, I can use these um, ice reusable ice pack here. But there's something else I want to show you. I, I used this before and it's pretty cool. It's uh, called cooler gel. Basically, you freeze a water bottle, and normally a water bottle melt real fast. What this thing does is it make it into gel like, like this stuff here by using water bottle. So let me show you. Okay, so depending on your uh, how big of a water bottle you're making here, one gallon, two liter, 1.8, and one liter. And this is the ratio to water. Fill your water to the neckline. So I'm using this right here, this empty tea bottle, 1.7. Give a little gap for the water to, or the ice to expand. And this is 1.8 roughly, so two and a half teaspoon. So I'll be expending two and a half teaspoon of this stuff in there. It's like crystal. You can um, estimate or guesstimate. <laughs> you don't have to be exact, but just for fun, since I have a um, measuring spoon here. One teaspoon. It's a two and a half teaspoon. Yeah, we're gonna be pouring this into this. It's crazy. You can see it will expand and everything. So we're gonna. Right, So this is not your average uh, block of ice later, or jug of ice. It's a... It, zero to negative 10 uh, sub-zero temperature. Pretty much 30 to 40% longer than traditional ice. Uh oh, some got out. It looked like... Uh, it feel like soft gel. The direction say let let it absorb, pretty much expand. You can see um, it's gonna um, get bigger. After it finished expanding, then you put it in the freezer for 48 hours. Well, no need to wait for 48 hours. I dig in my freezer and I find out I, I, I already have one. This one I've been using for two years now, based on the date I can tell. Um, it's still good, it's still going strong, it's reusable, and it's two plus years already. And it does uh, melt slower. Uh, this is how I look now. In over 40 hours, this is what it looks It's a block of ice. This one is just water by itself. This is just water. And this one melts pretty fast within a few hours. Well, two hours, it's melted already. Now, depending on your cooler, too. So now we can. I think this is the best size wise um, for depending on your cooler. Because you can make gallons, but that's, it takes up too much space. You can make a water bottle, but then you need a few of them. So I put one at each end of the cooler. Then I cycle them. If, uh, you have a few, then you just cycle them. So you always have a uh, block of ice ready to go. All right, we're about 10 minutes of time. And it's pretty much solidified now. It's ready for the freezer. I got it on Amazon, cooler gel for about maybe $12. I got this in August of 2014 and I still have some. Pretty much, it lasts a long time. Okay, and then... <coughs> wow, it's pretty, it's sealed. All right, so now, like this one, you can go in this corner thing. And it, it doesn't take that much space. I'm gonna lay it down. There you go, instant ice, save money. Uh, just to show you the um, Arctic cooler, this is the 65. By leaving here, just maybe less than an hour, all the water in the bottom begin to form ice already. Like these droplets, it's so cold, it become ice. I can feel it. See, it's, it's not water, it's ice. This one is like, like a little like, piece of ice. So it's pretty much frozen. <laughs> Very neat.